Sugar Conroy, welcome back for more Mother 3. Alright, in the last part, we got up past that mysterious door in Oso Castle. In this part, we're going to keep going through Oso Castle in this hidden area. There's a large garbage can here. What's it used for? Hmm. Well, we'll find out later. Let's go through here. Ha! What was that? It's that chick from before. Wes? Is that you, you old geezer? You know her? I am so jealous. Oh, princess. It was- so it was you. That weird girl from before was the princess? Oh my, how this brings back memories. Sometimes I wouldn't remember you. One after a little bit. No, 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 wait. I'm so giddy that I've mixed up my words. I've forgotten all about you but for but a bit. Okay. No, no, wait. Just throw you more and get your act together. Me? Whatever. I got my leg caught in this stupid-ass trap. I can't afford to die here, so I was just thinking about cutting my foot off. She has a knife and everything. Oh, I see you're as reckless as ever. But you needn't resort to removing your foot, princess. For me and my thief hearts, a trap of this sort is absolutely never, never, ah, is absolutely nothing to never worry about. No, wait, wait, wait. Just leave it to me. <laughs> He's got a double negative and there's nothing to never worry about. I'll have this faster off than before you can say piece of cake. Whatever. So she had her foot caught in a bear trap. Princess, I'm so pleased to know you're all right. Hey, it's the pendant. Hey, my pendant. You stole it, huh? Damn. Can't let my guard down for even a second. He your son, old geezer? Hmm. Aw, oh, her face is in his face. His breath kind of stinks. <laughs> Your name's Duster, huh? My name's... She's a strong, wise, and rather masculine girl. Well, she is my favorite character, and hopefully yours. Her name is... Kumatora! That's what the name, we're going to use the default name for, of course. For those of you who don't know, Kumatora is actually... It's kind of a weird name. It's one of the few names in here that doesn't really translate to anything. Kumatora basically translates to Tiger Bear. Like, that's really what it translates to. It translates to Tiger Bear. If anything, it would be hyphenated if translated correctly, though. But, you know, a lot of people were just using Kumatora, though, because Tiger Bear would be way too many letters. And by the way, translation team, if any of you guys are watching this, I can't believe you guys seriously got it up to eight letters for the name instead of the normal six. You guys are awesome. Okiska? Okiska? Kumatora, good to meet you. She is my favorite character. She's so cool. Hmm? What are you doing? Let's go. Wherever you're headed, princess. Isn't it obvious? You guys are here for a too, ain't ya? But your leg is injured. Actually, that was a typo back there. When she said ain't ya, uh, ain't didn't have an apostrophe in it. Just a little spit on it and it'll be good as new. Let's move. Wow, she had her leg caught in a bear trap. It's actually kind of funny her name's Tiger Bear, and yet she got caught in a bear trap. <laughs> hey, geezer sent. Escort me, will ya? Jeez, I always thought that was kind of an overlooked pun in the game. You know, getting caught in a bear trap. Kumatora joined your party! Yay, we have, like, the coolest, most awesome, most sexy character ever in the mother's... Word on the wind. Whoosh, whoosh. Greetings! I apologize for being so sudden. You know the phrase, the word on the wind is... Yeah, I'm not wind. I'm where rumors come from. Rumor has it that Kumatora, the mysterious, strong girl who just joined you, is able to use psychic powers, or PSI. Ah, our first PSI user! If it's true, then you definitely have the upper hand in battle from now on. Let's offer this word of the wind. I should be going now. Bye. Whoosh. Let's go and take a look at Kumatora's stats. Let's hold up. Let's get going already. Let's take a look at her stats. Let's see here. She doesn't have very much HP, yet she has some PP. Her PP seems to be slightly depleted. I bet that was a blast of PSI that she shot us with when we tried to walk in here. As you can see, she has gloves for a weapon. I don't get why she doesn't use that knife that she was going to cut her foot off with. I mean, that would make more sense. Magic pendant, which she got. Scarlet ribbon, Aquarius bracelet. Eh, not bad. She's level 10 when you get her, which isn't half bad either. I kind of like that knife. It's kind of a nice touch how her PP is slightly depleted from when she shot you with that PSI earlier when we tried to enter the room. Alright, let's keep going. Here we have the lingering spirits. 
Uh, they are weak to PK Freeze, if I remember right. They have very high defense, though, so you're pretty much going to need to use PK Freeze if you're going to beat them. Nice. Kumator, you rule. Let's go ahead and use my Siren Beetle, and let's see. Kumator's regular attack stat is very low. Watch this. She's not going to do very much damage at all. One. Threw one to dust your socks, and it's solidified. Something that a lot of people don't know, if you make an enemy solidify while they're turned around, they will stay turned around until they their body is normal again. Hey, he's worried about Kumatora's safety. So that's actually a pretty helpful battle tip. If you can solidify an enemy while they're turned around, they'll stay turned around. So if you got any attacks that can do that, or any items or whatever, definitely use them. Nice. Let's see what's in here. Kumatora got a flea charm. It might be good idea to equip her with that because Duster already has one. Hmm. Well, her max PP is going to drop a little bit, but her defense is going to raise. And honestly, at a low level, I think it's more worth going for the defense. Uh, I don't need to save. Let's keep going. Swing across. And more enemies. Oh, I back attacked this one. Nice. Ah. I did a combo smash attack right there. Pretty nice. Go. It's swaying back and forth. Wow, it's doing a whole lot. And unfortunately, it is not affected by Thunder Bombs. It doesn't look like. Darn. Ah, well, just stick to the weaknesses that I tell you in my uh, little info box things, and you'll be fine. Hey, Barrel Mans. <laughs> uh, as another helpful tip, you're probably going to want to level up Kumatora a few times. Well,. The thing is, if you notice in there, she has PK Freeze uh, Alpha and PK Fire Alpha, but she does not yet have PK Thunder Alpha. You're going to want to train her until she gets PK Thunder Alpha, and of course you guys can use uh, PK Fire Alpha on you. So now we're getting into PSI users, which is really nice, though, because Mother Series just seems to be incomplete without it, and, you know, the entire Chapter 1 didn't have any real PSI users except for some enemies. And all I did was stuff like Hypnosis, which isn't really, you know... As you can see, no healing PSI yet. All she has is offensive PSI. Uh, actually, no, we'll be fine. Let's go and attack this thing, whatever it is. This thing that just fucked up what Sonic's character is! <laughs> God. I've been joking so much about Spax 3 lately. Alright. And it turned around. That enemy did not shake side to side when we scared it to turn around. That was not hard at all. The Oso Cape is a pretty cool enemy. It was one of the first enemies seen in this game, beta screenshots. I like it a lot. Uh, let's go ahead and swing across this. Swingity swang. Swiggity swiggity swack. Magic Gelatin. That item recovers 20 PP. It's Now you're going to start getting into items that recover PP. Danger brooms ahead. <laughs> I love that danger brooms ahead. Now, that actually is a helpful tip. You're not going to want to get touched by these brooms, because if you do... They sweep you up, and looks like something out of Alice in Wonderland, and you get thrown in the garbage back here, and you have to walk all the way back up. So, I'm going to see you guys back in that room in just a moment. Uh, I thought I would make a quick note here um, about shields. Uh, when I was on my way back up, I fought this enemy, the Oso Cape, and it was using a... Uh, it's been using some weird attacks, like it has like sh PK shield and everything like that. Uh, that will basically... As you might guess, we'll just reduce your damage, though, but it also will prevent you from doing combos at all. Um, I was also, uh, as you saw right there, bo Duster's body was engulfed with flames. Whenever you use PK Fire, you have a chance of that happening. Uh, as you can see, Kumatora is fallen right there. She is KO'd. She doesn't have any HP, though. However, anytime that you enter a cutscene that requires that character to move, they are brought back with 1 HP, so you don't have to worry about Kumatora dying in this part. Just swing on any rope with a rope snake, and she's back to life. I'm not really sure if the creators intended that, but I'm going to use it as a helpful tip anyway. Alright. For some reason, Kumatora started to feel feverish. That's nice, she's going to learn a new PSI power. This is how PSI works in this game. Greetings, I apologize for being so sudden, but you know the phrase, word on the wind is, yeah, I'm not wind. I'm where I'm a rumors come from. Fears one of your friends is not feeling very well. She isn't poisoned, nor is she sleepy, nor she can get rid of that ill feeling. She lacks the energy to run, and using items in our hot springs don't help either. It seems that something is beginning to awake inside her. But I'm sure before so long... I'm sure it'll be, she'll get over it before long, so don't be worried. Lots of this word in the wind. I'll be going now, bye. Whoosh. Now, whenever a character in your party is going to learn PSI power in this game, they need to be a required level to learn it. But once they're that required level, basically seemingly random times, 
um, that character will lose their ability to run. Alright, Sprinting Bomb. Um, beef Jerky. They lose their ability to run, and then basically, uh, they are gonna stay like that for a while and everything, they have like those, you know, that sickness thing over their head. And then, uh, over time, they'll eventually realize their PSI power. Now, I find is actually a helpful tip for doing this, is, if you're playing on a keyboard, go like that up against a- go like this up against a wall diagonally. Hang on. Okay, of course I have to do it right. And, of course it's not gonna work. Ah, yeah, boy. Ah, he drank Kumatoris PP. No. Well, anyway, um, I guess that does it for this video, all right? We're up close to the top of Oso Castle, all right? So I'm just gonna end off right here, okay? In the next part, we should hopefully get to the top, all right? So I guess if you like this part, subscribe to my videos up in the corner. Big yellow button. Give me good five-star views. Demos video. I'm shaking my elements. All right. I'll talk to you guys later.